Good morning. Welcome to the weekly update for May 7th. It's uh, spring is here. We're excited. This weekend in particular, we're very happy to uh, celebrate mothers. Uh, so if you haven't made plans to treat mom for Sunday yet, we encourage you to, to call Ashley and make a reservation today. Today's the deadline to, to bring your family out for our Mother's Day brunch. It's a phenomenal menu, uh, a great array of breakfast and lunch options uh, for everybody to really celebrate mom, give her the morning off. Uh, and treat her to something special. So call Ashley today if you want to get in on Mother's Day. Uh, as we start to get closer to summer, our shift, uh, our focus shifts to juniors, and uh, a lot of the things we have coming up with juniors. So junior golf is something to be aware of. Uh, the PGA Junior Series, which Jeremy told you about last week, is really starting to take hold. We've got about a half dozen kids signed up for Junior Series, so if you haven't had your junior signed up, Give us a call. Our deadline is May 15th to sign up for the Junior Series. Also, once school lets out, we've got Junior Golf Camp. So um, four different weeks that we do a beginner series Tuesday through Thursday that runs 9 to 12, um, about $115 for the week. We encourage you to sign your junior up for Junior Golf. Okay, a lot happening on the golf course in terms of outings this week. We've got outings Friday, Monday, Friday, and a couple later on in the month. So couple things I want to encourage you to do. Number one, take advantage of our reciprocal program. We've got over 20 local clubs that'll host you. So whether it be Waynesboro, Carlisle, Harrisburg, Blue Ridge, Colonial, the list goes on. Outdoor. Um, go online. Take a look at the reciprocal clubs. If you're looking to play but you can't because we're closed uh, due to a charity outing, please take advantage of the reciprocal network. We also encourage you to use 4Ts, use the app, use the online tools so that you are aware of, of when you can play, um, and what the closures may be. They're very useful tools. We try to communicate with you. Um, there's going to be a list right next to me uh, of the upcoming closures. So, so take note of that and don't let that dampen your day. Speaking of events, our uh, the granddaddy, the men's member guest, is now accepting entries for 2015. If you haven't played in our member guest, our three-day event, it's the third weekend in June, the 18th through the 20th. It's a three-day event, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We play five nine-hole matches couple of live bands, the food just is the best all year, and the camaraderie is f phenomenal. Um, I think we sold out with 54 teams last year, so make sure you get your name on the list early. We'd hate to turn you away, but there is a limit. I think we can hold up to 60 this year. Um, so take advantage of that. Sign up online through 4Ts. Finally, we're looking ahead towards Memorial Day weekend. Uh, make sure you put that on your calendar. We've got two live bands performing. Uh, I believe Saturday and Monday afternoon poolside, we're going to have some live, live entertainment. The pool's going to open. Jeremy and his team are going to put some special menus together. Look for more details next week, but that'll be Memorial Day. And then just wrapping up, we still have the pool renovation campaign going on, and the golf center is getting ready to go. As soon as we get permits from the Commonwealth Code Inspectors, which I expect to be today, you're going to see some, some action and us break ground. Uh, we still need your support for the pool campaign. Uh, it's going to be great but only through more donations can we truly make it phenomenal. So thanks for watching the weekly update this week. We hope to see you at the club. Get out and use the facility. The conditions are great. Jonathan and his team are doing phenomenal, and uh, we'll see you soon. Have a great week. Thanks.